Triple threat. Cashed in by Radical Foil. And then Scurvy Dog cashed one in as well and gifted it to Dante Moon. The folks understand Twitch now. They were always good about not interrupting a broadcast. Oh, nice. Explaining EFEDs to your mom? Uh, yeah, maybe not. Introducing the challenger from your darkest fears. Weighing in at 275 pounds, Jason. Here's Jason Voorhees, 0 and 1 in triple threats. There's a heist. He is owned by Radical Foil, the Tin Man himself. Give him a follow. It's Radical Foil 1796. Jason Voorhees looking for that title shot. Or looking for that belt. Let's join the heist. Aliandros, thank you for, con for contributing. You were a Friday night's main event. 14 challenge. Challenge, wow. I had all kinds of things happening in the chest. In the throat. I don't know what the hell is going on there. Things are going up and down and all over the place. We need three more people to join the heist. Three more for the heist. Two more for the heist. Here is your Universal Champion, Cowboy Kurt Cunningham. Four eleven and two. He is the Universal Champion. He is owned by the Dante Moon. Last playing. Now I'm sucking this coffee up through a straw. What should I go for next? Ice cream. Or, or what? Pudding. Pudding. Okay, there we go. Uh, Murphy, thank you for being our the hero that we needed. We'll make a guaranteed win for the heist if we get in. Heist all. It's a guaranteed win to 16. You had ice cream yesterday? Yeah, but you can still have ice cream now. It's your birthday. You can it's have whatever birthday. you want. <laughs> you can have ice cream if you want to. And introducing the champion. Oh, from the no, no. He Dante, doesn't like no. rice pudding or he tapioca is the pudding. Men's champion, the Reaper. Here is your men's champion, Blood Rage. Seven, six, and four. He has defended the title once before. This is his third reign. This will be a little bit more difficult than his previous defense. He's owned by son number one. Apparently, he owns over 300 po po Pokemon cards. I sent him a Discord message and I'm like, How many? How many cards? Do you own now and he's like i have at least eight what the <laughs> frick man dude bro maybe eight favorites come on no <laughs> no he's being a dink i don't, so know, where, I don't know where he got that from if you don't like tapioca pudding would you like boba tea that has tapioca balls i'm not in a it? boba tea guy i think i've had it wasn't it wasn't too bad actually because the tap the tapioca didn't, didn't taste like it. No, it doesn't taste it, but it's the texture of the chewiness. Here we go. I'm gonna go again. What is that? Boba tea. Um. Well, it's just like know. tea in different flavors. There's so many. You should look it up. But both but the tapioca balls, they're like little. Usually it's black. The way it's made, it's like boiled or something, and then you put it in the drink. And yeah, here's a picture. You can of it, slurp man. it up through a thick straw. And that's part of the experience of having boba tea. Bubble tea. Yeah, so I called it bubble tea. But is it? It's boba, it's boba tea. tea. 
I don't know what the difference is. That's what it is. I, I wouldn't say I'm crazy about it, but I don't dislike it. There's like coffee flavor too. Yeah, there's different flavors, right? So it doesn't actually have to be tea. Tea. And I think the I, mean, I think the tapioca balls. I think they absorb the exactly right. So yeah, it just absorbs it. That's just the original names, Boba. Okay. Things you learn. Maybe it's just easier to say bubble, because that's bubble more of an tea? English word than boba. Well, when I saw them at Dufferin Mall back in the day, it was bubble tea. And I thought the actual name of the store was like yeah. like they actually said it's bubble tea. And it wasn't only it wasn't until like and this is before I met you. It wasn't until I um And there was a shortage too of these yeah. tapioca balls during COVID. There were shortages. No, no, no. There was something right. before that. Was it before? Yeah, there was something before COVID that there was a shortage of this stuff, and people were going crazy. For the tapioca yeah. balls. Yeah. I want to sit. Or the material to times, make it. Like years ago, yeah. I thought. Well, Jason's already busted open, apparently. He's not. It's just this entire. <laughs> People also went crazy for toilet paper, like my mom. Dude, yeah. bro, we still we're still are working using on her stash. Toilet paper from my mom's place, man. I don't know how much we have left, but um, like, is it still quite a bit? Or do you think we do? You, do you think it's gonna last us this year, 2022? Because it would have lasted us for May May. Maybe we got it since year last yet. year, yeah. Yeah, but she had the problem about January 10th, right? So then a couple months after that is when we took all the toilet so, the paper out. So about March. And we're still working um, through it. I can't say if it's going to last us to the end of 2022 because okay. I wasn't keeping track of yeah. how much use, right? So... According to my wife, when she comes home with 72 more rolls, we don't need it's yeah. Uh, but but when but when other people do it, it's panic shopping. <laughs> yeah. I mean, is it just the two of you as well, Scary Dog? So that's a lot between two people. We didn't buy extra toilet paper. We did buy. I only buy when it's on sale. We didn't. We bought some extra canned foods like some extra canned oh, yes. beans that we normally wouldn't get yeah. or in tuna we did like a stash of but dry we didn't goods. do like we didn't get like 40 or 50 and just clear it all out oh, no, no. We, we bought so every time we would go shopping we get five more of this that we didn't normally get so we would, so we get more, like a little bit more, but not like crazy amounts, and we store that into a bin and keep it just in case we weren't allowed to go back out again. Uh, and that's gone because yeah, now that we're at a point gone. where it's like, well, we don't need to kind of worry about that, so let's just buy normal. We're yeah, fine. it's fine. Um, you know, and I think that took us about a month or so to really build up a good. A good like a good bin like 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 a yeah tub we had it of in a tote food. bin yeah it took it took us about a month or so but the kids they were not fans when we had to like eat the vegetable soup cans yeah, they're like uh because I think I bought like two cases of twenty four there is no poop counter in your house stone oh man no no nope. no poop counter what the hell man three or four of us depending on college people oh gotcha because gotcha, of the kids gotcha. right right okay because yeah i assume that you would buy toilet paper for your kids while they're away yeah. for college yeah like there is i'll be honest the the, the one time i went shopping with you i was like i want to buy like all the things and never go back out again but Wait, when was this? 
recently or when, no, when, when the we pandemic had, first when hit? When the pandemic first hit and we were looking at maybe buying a little bit of extra. You wanted to buy a freezer well, for or food, fridge. I wanted to buy, I wanted to go all in, but I'm like, no, it's so hard to calm down. Calm down. Because I'm also thinking of, well, I want food for, I want to make sure that there's food for my children, right? But just relax. Just buy a little bit extra here and there. It's going to be okay. It's going to be fine. You know, like uh, buying extra tomato sauce yeah. to make to go make past pasta sauce, right? Yeah, I bought a, a lot of pasta too. Soup broth. Now those those were hard to get at first because those it seemed like it was the first thing that everyone bought. Remember when like they those had limits? Empty, man. Limits yeah. on meat. They had limits on bacon of how many packages you could buy. There? Yes, there was. There oh, were signs saying you can only buy like two items in this area. It's like, what the? <laughs> Even with eggs, I think eggs, they limited that as well. Year six of COVID, we will all yellow jackets our children. What's that? Yellow jackets. So once we are done with the toilet paper that we currently have, I'm going to buy the nicer stuff. So like the thicker sure toilet time. paper. Okay. And my mom just said, oh, no, I just bought some that were on sale. And no, mom. How many did we count? Cowboy, Cowboy. Kurt Cunningham is your new men's champion. There we go. Happy birthday! Saw that coming. I didn't see it coming. My pebbles! Friend painted me a thing during the initial panic mine of toilet paper. I'll pop it into Discord. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Some artwork. This is the first time you have two belts ever? Ooh, nice. Well. Really? If you, if you cash from in, you can start working on oh, maybe. champion of all the owl. New men's champion. Men's champion. Triple C. Happy birthday, Dante. Maybe I'm thinking of maybe you having a belt with tag team as well. Yeah, maybe. Okay. We are done. We are done. Done, done in the tum tum. 